Well, Assalamu Alaikum. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my privilege here today to stand in front of you and talk about a subject called safety. Uh, well, how many of you and what's in your brain it's right now going on when you hear the word safety? If I may ask the question to the audience, please. What is safety? Wonderful. Safety is precaution taking in every step of every what you do in your life. Wonderful, madam. Today I am here and I, take, I have taken this opportunity that you people have invited me speaking on this dais. I can see many business leaders sitting here and I take this opportunity to trigger that safety thing in every business leader so that you can take this safety thing back in your work. Because when we do any business, any sort of a business, you name it, the business is done by people, right? The machines, the technologies, everything. But who brings all these things? This is brought by humans, the people. And if I may correlate the business world with our own family, everybody has a family. Family is one of the unit when it grows on, it grows on the organization, then the organization goes on to the country and globe and anywhere you can talk. But the unit of all those things are people and people's safety is very much important because what we do or what we are here for, for our own welfare. Or when we talk about own welfare, I talk about humanitarian welfare. My name is Joyvi. I am here in this part of the world for last around 14 years, managing health and safety in different organizations. Before this, a bit of me it was, basically I am a trained aeronautical engineer, and then I did my fire engineering because, as somebody today speaking, a speaker was saying, that you need to work on for your passion, and my safety was one of my passion during my early careers. Now I talk about why and what is safety. Technical definition is freedom from harm is safety. Human are social animal, I have talked about it. And we do all the businesses, all the work, but for whom, for me, for my family, for my people, and if they are not safe, if I do some work, my children, my family is looking forward that I will be reaching home to the evening safely, right? So I have to ensure that my safety is there for the families, for my family's security and safety there. Who wants to be harmed? Another third question if, my, if I may ask, who wants to be harmed? Even an animal, they are defensive of harm and we are blessed to be humans how could I permit myself or my colleagues in that term or my peers to be get harms in the work which I do? Now I will be going in there. There are basically three pressing reasons to follow safety. Business leaders are there. Probably they know it. It might be just a sort of a refreshing thing, but it's worth taking away from this session. And the three pressing reasons are moral, legal, and financial. I will go one by one onto that. The first one is moral. I talked about much more things in terms of humanity, in terms of sustainability, environment. That's all moral duty we have. But why? Who commands us? In workplace, you can see a lot of workplace fatality and injury. We do not want those injuries. Business leaders do not want injuries and workplace incidents happening in pursuit of their profit-making business. However, there is someone who is commanding us to follow health and safety. And with your permission, if I may quote something from Holy Quran, and here it goes. This is from Holy Quran, 
Surah Maida, verse number 32. If I may translate in English, it says, If anyone saved a life, it would be as if he saved the life of all mankind. 